Okay, the last four structural pseudo-class selectors of CSS are known as the nth selectors. And these selectors are newer to the pseudo-class structural selectors. Okay, let's take a look at the nth child selector. And you can do more than just give it a numeric value. And I'll show you in just a second. Let's take a look at what this does. It gets the second child. So if I was to put a three here, it's going to get the third child. Okay, very simple. Now what if we take this, and we have another set, it's going to get all of the sets. So wherever the li elements are nested. Okay, this next example using nth child adds a little bit more logic that you guys might enjoy. So we're pretty much setting up the same kind of rule, but instead of putting a two or a number here, we're just putting the keyword even. And then here we're putting the keyword odd. So what these two rules are going to do is it's going to make all the even li elements red and all the odd li elements blue. So you can easily alternate colors in lists, tables, rows of divs, or whatever you want to alternate colors in. Now the coolness doesn't even stop there with nth child and all of the nth selectors. With all of the nth selectors you can also use this kind of configuration for the value parameter. Now this is basically the same as saying even and odd because this allows you to set numbers that the elements would be divisible by. You see? Alright, let's take a deeper look at this parameter. So let's just use this one rule on this list. Now we'll get all of the even ones red. Now what if we change this to a one that makes all of them, the odd ones will be red. Now what if we change this to a three? That means where they're divisible by three. So every third element in that list. See? One, two, three, four, five, six. So where they're divisible by three. How about where they're divisible by four? So only every fourth. You see how that works? And you get the fifth. But it'll be where they're divisible. So every fifth so it'll be 5th, the 10th, the 15th, the 20th, the 25th. So there's a whole lot of different parameters that you can set within the nth type of selectors. So for all four of these that I'm about to demonstrate, you can select these, you can assign these type of parameters that I just showed. Now let's take a look at nth last child. Now what this one does is it counts from the last target element upwards or inwards. So you're saying nth last child 2 means that you're saying 1, 2. That means you're targeting this element. And actually, let me change this to OL. That way we'll see numbers. And you'll see that it targets that fourth element in the list. Because you're going from the bottom. So if I add a few more LI elements, it's going to count from the bottom up. So it's going to target this element now using the number two see the seventh one because it's the second to last item now we're going to look at nth of type and this one is sort of like nth child but it just makes sure that it is the specified type so nth child could mean any children that are within the element but nth of type it specifies it makes sure that it's the specified type so we get second paragraphs in those groups styled. And we say nth of type 1. Then we're going to get the first paragraph. The first type P within the element. Within its nested, within its container element. Okay, now we'll take a look at nth last of type. And this one's just like nth of type, except that it counts inward from the bottom. So it targets where the last element is found of that type and starts counting upward. So since we're saying nth last of type 3, it's going to count upward from the bottom. 1, 2, 3. So this element right here should be the one that's targeted and selected. And that's the one. Now remember for this numeric parameter that you see here, that can be the keyword even or the keyword odd, 
or it could be the little sequence of characters that I showed you. So you can set up logic to where only if an element is divisible by the certain number that you specify in the list will it be selected. So if you want to say divisible by three, only the th every third element in the list will be selected starting from the bottom. All right, that completes all of the structural pseudo class selectors of CSS. Now we still have the pseudo element selectors. So we still have a few more videos to go. There's a lot of selectors in CSS and there's a whole lot of different ways CSS allows you to target your HTML elements and it's handy to know all of those different ways.